shiriki na yeye kwa muda mrefu katika maombi na shughuli zingine ah tutaweza kujitambulisha wote niruhusu mmoja tu ah atafanya ombi ndugu msifu Yesu Kristo 
Tumsifu Yesu Kristo tena. Tutoa umbali huko mara na yote na akatufikisha hapa. Tunamshukuru sana sana maana si rahisi huko ni mbali, makari na safari ndefu. Tumeweza kufika hapa. Tumeshukuru sana. Saidi ya yote tumefika hapa wanajumia kwa ajili ya mmoja wetu ambaye amelala Anois Ondita pamoja na familia yake na bibi yake. Hii ni jumuiya yake Saint Teresa wa Kalukuta. Ni washiriki wa jumuiya, watu wa kanisa, wa mcha Mungu, wapenda Mungu, matoleo yote ya kanisani na ni watu wakamilifu. Huyu mse tulimpenda Saidi Saidi ndio unaona watu wametoka nikiona hapa ninaona hali vijo ya mara la karibu yote wa huku mimi naona kama ni kidogo lakini wale tumetoka mara la tuko wengi kwa ajili ya huyu mzee kwa sababu ya upendo ambaye tulimpenda na sisi watu wa mara la Saidi yote tunapendana sana unaona tumekuja mpaka na mabadri wetu tumekuja kwa wingi kwa sababu ya upendo wa huyu mzee kama hivyo ndio Mungu amempenda hakika yeye anaenda kabisa direct mbinguni kwa sababu ya upendo ambaye amependa Mungu pamoja na familia yake hata ya kisi hapa mpaka na ya Maranal na sisi majirani na marafiki hatutakuwa na mengi tutakuwa tu na msafara wa kuchukua mzee wetu tumwagishie mshuma ya kumpa mwanga chizi alivyotembea na sisi asanteni sana asanteni Pia ningependa kumwalika coordinator kindly wherever you are come forward wherever we have been coordinating from there uh, sisi bila mnatuona hivi sisi ni marafiki ya mzee ndio wale ambao tulikuwa tunakaa na yeye mara mzee ni kama mwenzetu na tunampenda vile ambavyo mnaona tumekuja kwa wingi. Eh aba alimodali kuiguke kusi na kwa ndio Kiswahili. Ni moko kuiguke kusi bwana to da ntuna ba sani ba marara. Twacha komo sindikiso mwa ko mwa ko no musani itu. Ai no muto menye tena itu kuja. Na bande mbaro ale kolega sinel ba ta. Ba na sasa wa eliba. Ya mwengu kwa ajili ya kujitambulisha vya wa ndugu yetu Arois ah uh, wengine baada wajakuja kuna pasta tunamfahamu na uh, alifanya kazi nzuri ya uh, katika maandalizi so, waseme china peke yake ili waweze kuketi sababu wao ndio walikuja kufarichiwa Jambo tena Salimiane salamu ya amani Salimiane sisi wote Yes Asante mbarikiwe Kipana kuchukua hii fursa Kuchukua mungu Kwa sababi ya siku ya leo Laisa Mekua kipidi 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 Mbana hemu tukua tunajua na ye kubinafsi, nafiki yetu, mzeri, baba yetu, na hata kuhonjaka kwa kena kukumzika, ilikuwa mshituko na jamba ambayo tukua tunatarajia. Hiki kwa sababu ni mapezi ya mungu wa tukua na lingine, tulikubari, na tukasema hafanya nini, baba alale salama. Na kwa hivyo paka saa hii tunashikia kwa mba, mzea loi zongwa ni ontita, mungu wa muweke vizuri, na familia yake iweze kupata amani. Tangu tuanze hii utaratibu na mpango wote mmekuwa karibu wiki karibu tatu. Mungu amekuwa na sisi ametutangulia 
nikachaguliwa kuwa coordinator kutoka pande ile nikapata support kubwa kutoka kwa familia kutoka kwa familia pia pande hii ya kisi wale wenye walichagua pande ile pamoja na wazee na jamii ya amenyingwa si ndio na nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu huo ushirikiano ningependa kusema ile kamati ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya kazi pamoja uh, tuko na wenzetu hapa na mtumishi Evans ndio alikuwa sekretari wetu tuko na Mr. Jared Saboke yeye yeah, alikuwa ndio treasurer wapi Saboke hadi huyo hapo pia weka mioyo ile simuoni vizuri pia uh, tukakuwa na Mr. Mumanyi alikuwa vice secretary ako pale nyuma hiyo timu imefanya kazi kubwa sana kushirikiana simu pande hii mipango ya kutafuta paka hii shughuli ikue hivi kwa hivyo haijakuwa effort ya mtu mmoja siwezi take credit this is what tumeshirikiana na tukafikia hii kiwango kwa hivyo ningependa kushukuru kila mmoja mwenye ametoa senti yake umetoa pesa umetoa pesa Uh, yako kutoka kwa mfuko umetoa maoni umetoa ushauri eh? na maombi haswa hata kwa Mungu imetusaidia pakubwa si ndio kuna mwingine pia mwenye alikuwa na dadi uh, anaitwa daktari uh, Atandi sijui kwenye yako macho yangu wewe daktari Atandi ndio huyo hapo sijui kwa nini sijamuona nafikiria imenipita pia amekuwa pamoja nasi amekuwa coordinator pia tumesaidiana pande ile nyingine wakati ambao mahesabu pamoja na minutes wakati wenzangu kwa wenzake wa wazee wa wakuwa wana secretary na vice pia alikuwa na sisi pia alikuwa link yetu kwenda kwa familia kwa hivyo tuna appreciate kazi nzuri yenye daktari umefanya yenye mtumishi Evans umefanya pamoja na treasurer mbaye nyinyi wote Mungu awabariki. Kwa hivyo sina mengi na sahi kuwachosha. Niseme mimi nimepongeza kila mmoja. Hata ile kukuja kwetu yenye mmekuja kutoka Mara. Hebu watu wa Mara wote, wote wenye wamekuja. Ni wa mkono wenu hivi. Ndio mtoe upendo yenye wako nao na marehemu. Ndio hao wote wamekuja na sio kulazimishwa na wajambebelezo wakuje, wamekuja kwa sababu ya upendo wenye wako nao kwa marehemu na ile familia yenye imebaki. Mbarikiwe. Mungu awatende mema ukirudi kwenu. Upeleke salamu zetu. God bless you. Nasema jambo moja kwa niaba ya wengine mwenyekiti. Na sote tutasimama tuanza misa takatifu. Tena. Tutasimama sote.
Aloisi ataendelea kuwa pamoja nasi. Nikisema pia kodi kwa jumuiya ya wanateresia ambapo alikuwa akishiriki. Hatuwezi tukasema tunampoteza. Kwa sababu kifo ya Mkristo huwa ipotee. Ni hali yetu inabadilika. Tunatoka katika hali ya kimwili ya kibinadamu tunaingia katika hali ya utukufu kule tunapoenda kushiriki yale tunayatamani zaidi katika dunia hii mfalijue na nyimbo zile ambaye yeye amependa mama lingine endelea kuinua roho yako kwa Bwana kila wakati kwa sababu sasa Luis ambapo sisi kwa macho ya binadamu tunafikiri ametuondokea basi sasa yeye mtendesi wetu muombezi wetu mbele ya Mungu na hivi sasa anawaombea nini unapofikiria juu ya kutokuepo kwake katika maisha yenu basi usikitike kwa sababu sisi wote tunajua tu wasafiri na bila shaka tutakufa tuendelee kumsii Mungu ili sisi ambao kwa siku ya leo tunaishi na tunajua tuna makosa mengi tumetenda dhambi mingi muombe msamaha ili aweze pia kupendezwa na sala na maombi tutakayotoa kwa ajili ya baba wetu na muungamia mungu mwenyezi na nani ndugu zangu kwa wale mnaikosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutumisa wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba mali yangu ni hii ingera daima malaika na watakatifu wote nanyi zangu niombeni kwa bwana wetu mungu mwenyezi aturumie atusamehe na zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele amen
Mungu daima na milele. Yeah. 
njoni mlio barikiwa na baba yangu uridhini ufalme mlio wekewa tayari tangu kuumbwa ulimwengu haya uliwaficha wenye hekima na akili ukawafunulia watoto wa Tanga. Naam baba, kwa kuwa ndivyo ilivyopendeza mbele zako. Akasema, nimekabiliwa vyote na baba yangu, wala hakuna mjoe mwana ila baba, wala hakuna mjoe baba ila mwana. Na yeyote ambaye mwana apenda kufunulia. Njoni kwangu ni nyote msumbukao na wenye kulemewa na mizigo, nami nitawapunzisha ni ni yangu mjifunze kwangu kwa kuwa mimi ni mpole na mnyenyekevu wa moyo nami mtapata raha nafsini mwenu kwa maana nira yangu ni laini na mzigo wangu ni mwepesi ndiye takatifu ya Kristo Na hii ndiyo atiti ama historia ya baba Mzee Aruiz Mzee Aruiz alisaliwa bale mocha chanwari 1957 kwa mse alikuwa anaitwa baba alikuwa anaitwa Mikailo Ntita na Pascalia Bonareni Step mom to Anne Ontita na inimenyi kwa village Education Mse Aloys alisoma alingia shule 1961 ambaye primary alikuwa anaitwa Tamba Primary School Rita alichoi Masaba High School 1969 and successfully completed the whole level education, marriage, and a family. The late Aroi Sontita was a loving husband to marry the China Nkwani. He was never shy to show his love and a care to her children, to his children. Aroi and a Mary Tide na not yani walifanya harusi tarehe 15 Novemba 2003 in mara al Catholic Cathedral Church kule Samburu they were blessed with three lovely children Nancy Onkwani Edna Onkwani and their Alex Ontita he was blessed with six grandchildren namely Celine Resila, Keira, Nataya, Nail, and Repro. He was a father in the road to Nail, Tiamo, Olinis, Oyo, and a Catherine Remosio. Work. Later, Luis Tita was deployed to work in the Ministry of District, the Samburu District in 1984, where he worked until his retirement in 2017. He was a working as a chief accountant in the charge of National Treasury, Samburu County. He later retired and got involved in different businesses in the Mara town. Afya yake, Musea Aloysi, alikuwa in the oral language, Aloysi, has been enjoying healthy and a candid life with no healthy complications. 
and he uh, it is here when he started complaining of not feeling well. He sorted medication in several health facilities, including Greece Health Center, Dr. Prasa, where he was treated and the ward he lived on 21st November 2023. Hussein was not feeling well. He contacted his preferred doctor, where after being examined, he was referred to Sambur River Hospital, where further examination and the tests were, tests were done, and he was uh, agreed to transfer to Nakuru War Memorial Hospital. He was uh, for specialist treatment. He was admitted, but his conditions worsened, and he was taken to the intensive care unit on 4th December 2023. <coughs> he went. He went to be with the Lord Arois. He fought a good fight. He finished his says He will live in our memories and the hearts forever. In the good hands, rest in our uh, heart remain. Memories. He will be remembered by his family, colleagues, relatives, close friends, and the business people as honest, transparent, and sincere in all his doings. He will be dearly missed by his loving wife, children, and grandchildren, who have always been close and supportive to him. Ambaye kuna wimbo alikuwa mependa, ambaye tita usoma, nafikiri wote wale wakuna yorochi, mkuna uwe wimbo, eh, Na hii ndiyo maisha fupi, ama maisha mrefu ya baba Musea Ruiz. So tatulipenda, lakini mungu wa mpenda saiti. Asante. Asante sana. Hapa uh, tunabiwa kwamba Alois fought a good fight. He has finished his race. He will live in our memories and our hearts forever. In God's hands, he rest in our hearts he remain. Basi nataka kuwalika wale ambao wanafanya uh, tribute waje hapa mbele ili tufanye na pande ya sekondaria na mwili. Kwa hivyo karibuni. Sikini na mwingine. The time we had together has been the best time ever. You are the source of my joy and laughter. My dear, I will miss your charisma and passion. I am not sure if I can really express just how much I will miss you. You have been a wonderful husband, father best friend and colleague. Your ability to make everyone feel comfortable, secure, and loved were your greatest strengths. It has been 45 years since we got married, and I look back over those years with so much happiness. You are always such a gentleman, well-mannered, and polite, and you are always quick with witty remarks. Your joviality and good-naturedness always attracted people the moment they walked around you, greeting people with a gentle voice. Habari mam, mko salama, mkae na amani. Those are the words he used to say. You have always been a wonderful father to our children. I would watch you tell stories to the children up until they became teenagers. I saw how they always came to you for advice, which helped them navigate through life. You have always been a hardworking and giving man, especially to your nuclear and extended families, not forgetting to give back to the community. My dear, you have rested before me. But I find comfort in knowing that you are in heaven and are now looking down on the family you left behind. I am in so much pain and confused, yet I remember how much you stayed strong, kept up your spirit, smiled, and promised me that all would be well. You're gone, my love, and that's left is nothing but memories, memories that lead me to silence and tears. May the Lord who chose a time as sad to be with him rest your soul in perfect peace. Truly, heaven has been an angel. As I accept, adjust, and advance in my real reality, may God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Goodbye, my dear sweet husband. May you rest in perfect peace. This was a tribute on behalf of mom. On behalf of Kathleen, the note I wrote to the letter that I remember vividly the first day I met you. You welcomed me into your home and took me as your own and not a daughter-in-law. I remember the good times we had together. 
and advises if you need. Mom, na kupenda. No vumbilia to hear what you do. Well, the words I will never forget. Thank you for giving me a handsome son as my hubby. I will do as requested. Bye, daddy in love. I will miss you so much. A tribute from the daughters, Nancy and Edna. Daddy, before we face the world, you are the first one to show us love, true love. You were and always will be our best friend. Daddy, you are always caring, generous, and loving. Words cannot describe. We shall always remember the advices you gave us when we were teenagers. This helped us grow up to the women we are today. You fought a good fight, Daddy. Bye-bye, sweet Daddy. Your legacy will always remain with us. A tribute from grandchildren, Teresa, Natanya, Kayla, Neil, Lebron, and myself. My dear sweet grandfather, it is such a blessing to stand here today and pay tribute and to honor the legacy of the greatest man we know. The fact that you're no longer with us absolutely breaks my heart. But the fact that you taught me and my entire family what it really meant to love someone and really be there for them will help us heal and somehow move on from this. Words cannot express how thankful I have for giving me a good life, the best I could ask for in fact. And having you being a big part of it or growing up is the greatest blessing out of it. I will miss your wisdom drawn from many years of experience and how you tackled problems while making it seem so simple. But most of all, I will miss the pure love from your ever-loving, understanding hearts that you had for all of us. Thank you so much for being in our family. And thank you all for joining my family in celebrating the life of Alvarez of Kwan Zita. No be at peace, Papito, and bask in heaven goodness. I will always love and miss you. <coughs> Daddy, I remember my excellent childhood under your care. You are stunned, yet loving, and always corrected me whenever I made mistakes. You made me into a man I am today, and forever will be my memories, and I promise to follow your advices you gave me. Bye bye, Daddy. Thank you.